Now we're on the iDrop server. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Welcome to the fantasy what? zone. Get ready. Yo, Salvatore, thank you for the follow. Do tell, Big Bang. I'm always down for stream tech because I am an idiot. <laughs> I agree with what Deezy said. And <laughs> <laughs> did they really? They really did that big thing? That's pretty good. There's nothing in this house. There's bones in this house, so presumably whoever was here died. You hate to see it. You sad ooze noises. I guess I'll just keep my eye on these frames. It's not like this game requires that much of your immediate attention. This game is really good at making you feel like you're in danger, but in a lot of cases, you're really not. It's got a very claustrophobic atmosphere. They fill small rooms full of enemies. Oh, hello. That was you that did that, okay. I understand. No, come down here, though. Come down here, though. You won't. Got him! Oh, he's still alive! There we go. Woo! What was that? That was like a dragonfly thing, I guess. A crystal! Seymour had a crystal. More bones. Welcome Something. To the zone. Get ready. The Duke of Ducks, thank you for the follow. Something terrible has happened in this general area. There's absolutely nobody alive. Here we go. Here we go. Another crystal. <laughs> it's a pretty long link, yeah. I think the longest possible. Whenever somebody posts like a full Amazon link. That's the that's the that's the good shit. Like a like a tower of babel of text. <laughs> the Amazon link is the CVS receipt of links. Tell you what, tell you what, keep the W, keep the W, I'm out. Now we don't actually need to... We don't need to be killing these slimes every time we see them. But there are two good reasons to kill everything we see. One, of course, is that we get experience points when we kill shit. You get experience points, you level up, you get stronger, obviously. But also, Get ready. yo, both buffet, perhaps. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know names. Thank you for the follow, though. We're playing Kingsfield today. It's boof. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Is Dark Souls the Kingsfield of modern games? Yes. And they haven't made one since the PlayStation 2 because they're cowards. I would like to see a return to Kingsfield, but I feel like they'd probably make it a little more action-oriented than what we've got here. Because Kingsfield's always been kind of a... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Cross this bridge. Cross this bridge. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Hold on. I have a plan. Yo, cross this bridge, though. Yo, cross this bridge, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
Alright, this is the North Village. There's two villages in this general area. Oh, we've got another graveyard. There's a lot of graveyards in this game. Almost exclusively graveyards. Now, right here we can observe the fact that AI, uh... Enemies only go past a certain point. Or they only try and chase you to a certain point, like this doorway here. This ghost cannot go past this doorway because he's not programmed to. So if you find any of those, like, invisible walls, all you've got to do is stand just outside of it and start swinging. That's all you've got to do. He hit us anyway because I thought he was dead and I just walked straight into him like an idiot. But yeah, that's generally the strat. Find the invisible wall that they are programmed not to leave. And just kind of stay there. What if it shoots? The enemies that can shoot, those are the ones that uh, this that strategy doesn't work on. While the map in this game can seem... The map of this game can seem very... Very labyrinthine and daunting. And I mean, it should. That's kind of the point. But... They do a decent enough job varying the terrain. That, um... You can kind of find your way around just... By starting to... You just you just kind of memorize it. <laughs> oh, I see it. Alright, I see the frame drops. Alright, hold on. Alright, hold on, I can fix this. <laughs> 